just looking over these pictures and thinking back before I got my diagnosis uh, originally and I'm just like being that person like two three years ago I could have never imagined that I would be where I am now um, you know I've I, I'm not saying that I'm perfect or that I've made uh, the best decisions all the time or anything like like that you know I've, I've I've made mistakes I've done things but I've always come out on top um, so to be in a place where I'm like yes I'm gonna get married and I'm not gonna have to try to struggle on my own things are gonna go well and to just be slapped in the face uh, all of a sudden you know with you have stage three breast cancer um, it's already started to metastasize but not so bad that uh, we can't control it oh and by the way you have the gene um, that will make your chances greater to get other kinds of cancers and you know all of the information and hoops that you have to jump through um, is crazy and it's it's definitely uh, changes your whole life um, your whole life and you have no idea what the ride is like until you're actually on you know you can look at a roller coaster and be like ooh that looks like fun that looks like fun you know um, but you don't really understand until you get in the seat and you click that bar down and it's going because once it's going and you're on there's no way off until it's over so you know I want to try to be uh, in the rough because that's just who I am again like I say I'm not a really big person as far as into um, the, the, the spotlight um, but I, I want to be in the rough and I want people to be able to understand that yes uh, this is me this is not a scam I am trying to make it I'm trying to get through and if my story touches you or you know reaches out to you in whatever type of way maybe um, you like to reach out um, give a donation or even just send a share or some encouragement maybe you want to send a prayer or whatever I'm totally open for it all I'm just at my wits end you know um, here we go you know almost I guess uh, well it's been two years um, so we're going into three years now um, that I have been battling cancer and now it's gone from you know you have really high hopes and uh, th things are looking good and everything to you uh, have stage 4 cancer and you may not make it like that totally changed the game for me I went from fighting um, the first time and you know that was rough uh, getting through that and um, you know no one gets married expecting to have to do the end of days things um, uh, uh, right off the back so my my wife we've had some hard times some struggles everything like that um, but she's always been supportive as much as she can and uh, I really appreciate her for that um, you know I had gotten to a point where I was you, you know really going through and <sighs> things were looking down and as treatment went by things started looking up for me and I went through reconstruction and everything you know face had started to slim down from the steroids and you know body loosen up and everything like that from um, the different side effects and things from the treatment you know and 
I really thought that I was going to be okay and I could pick the pieces up and hit the ground running. You know, I hadn't been doing anything but totally fighting and I would hit the ground running. Um, unfortunately, life had something else in store uh, that really knocked me down to the ground. Um, being, Especially being the person that everyone goes to for advice or assistance and uh, technical, you know, aptitude and uh i'm like the the go-to person to totally just be like losing my mind i don't know my birthday did i grab my keys uh you know that kind of stuff so it's just like yeah so it's it's definitely been crazy and then with the seizures all day all throughout the day just never knowing if it's going to be a small one a big one a long one um will i be able to talk will other people see where will i be uh the headaches i can't sleep i'm just walking around like a zombie uh it's just crazy so you know it's scary for me i don't know um, what to expect honestly uh, no one does um, and, uh, at least until I go through finish the whole brain radiation and just kind of see how everything works but um, it's definitely being a trying journey um, for me uh, I plan to post updates to my account you know just kind of touch bases with the people who do um, get touched by my story or have questions or would like to know more um, so that they know that I am a real person I'm not a scammer I'm not trying to uh, blow up or come up or have some life-changing event uh, or extent of money from a uh, sob story but I definitely am standing in my truth and I know that at this point I could use help I could use help I have put band-aids and put things aside that needed to be fixed with the intentions of taking care of it on my own uh, once I became well but at this point I am sicker than I've ever been scareder than I've ever been and it's just the way it has to be I guess so you know this is my video this is my plea feel free to ask questions click the link read you know the bio I wrote it myself so it may be a little bit confusing I don't know my my brain is not working well but um, I'm still here so I look forward to working with individuals or uh, speaking with people maybe encouraging someone through my own um, struggle and I hope you know this helps bring insight and um, kind of humanize uh, myself instead of um, just posting this random link and you know everybody has a cause everybody has a need so this is me